Hi, this video is based on a Microsoft Power Automate community thread. So here the user is asking how to delete files inside subfolders. There is a document library which contains 160 folders with different names. So the example of the folders are ITA001, ITA002, etc. Then inside each folder, there are 160 subfolders named price list. I should delete inside each subfolder price list the file XLSX. So you are talking about 160 Excel files in 160 different subfolders with the same name. Okay, so what I did here is I have replicated the same directory structure in my SharePoint tenant. So this is my document library called doc1 and ita001 is my subfolder and then I have got another file name uh, sorry another directory called price list and the file is called price list.xlsx okay and um, it's the same structure in ita002 and also the same structure in ita003 as well okay so the plan is to delete the excel file only that's what the user is asking here how to delete the each subfolder place list the file yeah price list the file dot xlsx so i asked a question uh, against this asking is your excel file is called uh, price list dot xlsx and uh, the answer is yes yeah so the what we need to do here is uh, to build the flow and I will show you how to delete the file from all these folders. Okay, so remember for the demonstration purpose I'm going to only use three folders here. So for 160 folders this solution should work fine. If it's more than five, more than 5000 I haven't tested that so we you may need to implement the pagination technique. Okay, um, to for the filters and all. Right, okay, so let's start building the flow now then. Okay, so the connector I'm going to use here is a SharePoint connector. And the action step I am after here is uh, get files properties only. Okay, selecting my site address first. The document library name which I shown here is the doc1. And now I am only interest, interested in the folders only, the subfolders only. Okay, so to get the subfolders only, I'm going to apply a filter query here. So under the filter query, I'm going to type fs obj type is equal to one. Okay, so what this filter query does is we will get all the folders and the subfolders uh, filtered by filtered from the document one library. We don't get any files we only get the folder names only okay so i'm going to add a compose and look for the full path so let's see what we are going to get okay i'm going to demo this um, i'm going to put the name as demo sp files and folders Okay, so let's run the flow. Right, uh, so the flow ran successfully and there are six folders here. So you can see here doc1 slash ita001. The next one is 002 and the next one is 003. And then the third level of that folder is price list for the ITS001 and ITS002 and the final one is ITS003. Okay, so here we go. So that's the filter we need to use first. Okay, now uh, the second um, uh, step we need to do here is 
I know that I I want the you know the last folder which is the price list. So I only want the price list folders only and only to filter it so that I so that I know that's where I can target and get the files yeah from. So for that, what I need to do here next is I'm going to add a filter array here. Okay, so under the filter array, I'm going to select get files value. Okay, let me delete this apply to each. I don't need that anymore. That that is for just for you know showing that all the all the folders we are getting or not. And the uh, next thing I want here is I want there is a name property here name is equal to price list okay so and uh, add another compose oh sorry before i add the compose uh, so what this is going to do is this is going to filter the folder name contains the uh, is equal to price list okay um so i'll run run this and show you what's the output is going to be so we should only get th three folders only now which is the third level okay here it is see that that's ita001 i got and the next one is ita002 doc one slash and then this is the third one with the you know if you look at that you can see that see the price list also there yeah along with that so that's the way it's going to it's going to filter out now and uh, the next thing we need to do here is so now we filtered with the name is equal to the you know price list the next thing i'm going to do here is i'm going to add an apply to each because i am interested in that uh, results so I'm going to go to the, I'm going to apply it. I'm going to add an apply to each and add the body of the filter array and um, add a compose and add an expression called item. Okay. This is just for the debugging purpose. So you can see what are the collections of values you, you are getting from each each iteration here. Yeah? And the next step I'm going to do again and the compose. Okay, so for that here, I need to use um, um, use the similar kind of a syntax and explain it. So this one here, so that means from each apply to each. So remember that's syntax items bracket apply to each. So remember that and then question mark um, square bracket two single quotes with curly brackets full full path. Okay, so um, I'll, I will run this and show you what we are going to get there. Okay, so we got three three uh, you know folders only. That's correct because that's the uh, maximum uh, you know the, the level of folder we want. ITS zero zero one price list, then ITS zero zero two price list and three price list. Okay, that's the reason it has got three records there. And inside here, uh, you can see there is a full path here. So if you look the full path, you can see see that's the path I'm after. See that doc one slash ITS zero zero one price list because that's where our Excel file is. Yeah, so that's that. So currently we got what we done is we got all the folders and then we filtered the last level only using the filter array, and then we have got uh, the you see that that's a file name I want. So I constructed with that file name I'm after also. So that's the first one. If I click next, say I got the second one ITS zero zero two, and the third one I got uh, ITS zero zero three. Here we go. So we got all the files we want from the different subfolders, and um, the next steps are quite uh, quite an easy uh, step to do now. Okay, so I'm going to add another action step. You can delete this um, compose too. Then, okay, the next step here is um, I'm going to use SharePoint, and uh, here I'm going to say get file metadata by path, metadata using path. Okay, again, I need to select the SharePoint 
name the file path I'm, i know this is a file path i'm con constructing using the path slash price list dot space space list i got a space in my file name that's why i use price space list dot xlsx so here i'm going to dynamically map combos to output there there we go yeah so from from using that i got the id of that file then then it's quite uh, quite easy all i need to do again is go into the sharepoint and to say delete file okay and then the delete file i need to select the the, uh, the sharepoint site the file id i want so i want the id of the file so you can dynamically search it you can see the id say id the unique id of the file or the folder i want okay so remember the this compost is quite important so that means from the filter array we are using items bracket you know that syntax we need to use to get the full path you know if you search for the full path you don't get it because this is a collection object from the filter array so you need to use that syntax um, uh, you know from the expression itself so from the expressions you need to go like items bracket two single quotes apply underscore two underscore each like that you know that's what i did so that's where you construct that okay and then um, question mark square bracket again use that syntax exactly same as that yeah i'll copy this uh, uh, this syntax in my uh, video description as well right so once that done uh, then uh, you know we are uh, we know the file name we are constructing that's output compost 2 and then delete the file okay so let's run this flow and see whether the file is going to get deleted or not okay so the plan is it solely deletes the files and keep the file structure exactly as it is Right, okay, the flow is running uh, so far okay, and the uh, flow ran successfully. Okay, now let's go back to SharePoint. Okay, here we go, that's disappeared now. Then uh, if I go back to ITA002, see, that's disappeared as well. Then now the final one is ITA003. See, that's not there also. Okay, so that's the way, you know, um, uh, the you can delete the files and keeping the file uh, file structure exactly uh, it is okay so there are key things here is a first uh, filter uh, using fs object type one equal to one this will give you all the subfolders folders and subfolders then we filter with uh, uh, you know the name is equal to the uh, the price list which is the uh, you know the folder we want and then uh, you know in the, now in my case i will get three uh, but in this the user's case um, it should expect 160 then okay and then inside the each loop we are constructing the um, you know the file name and dynamically passing the file name there for getting the id once id we, we got the once we got the id then we use the delete file to delete the file from the specified folder hope this is useful thank you for watching